but they've got to get that money from somewhere. So when William conquers England, this is where you say hooray. Yeah. Um, he starts to give the land out to those knights, to those barons, so that the Saxons working the land can produce wealth that he can then use to equip himself so that he can go and serve his higher lord. William tries to keep English holding of land the same as it was during the Anglo-Saxon times. But as time goes by, he has to put down so many revolts, take lands away, that eventually a country of, is it about four million Saxons, is basically controlled by two to three thousand Normans. They pull it off, but those odds are not in the Normans' favor. They have to develop castles, they have to develop incredibly oppressive systems of taxation and government, which is why they're not very well thought of today. But as, as folks have, have uh, described, especially uh, David, the language, the court systems, the customs, the culinary, everything comes together in this year of 1066. Absolutely.